back to Rat G Rides All Things Geek right here on 103.7 FM, Brock University Radio. Or you can be listening to us live online at cfbu.ca. So it's Ryan Fleming here, uh, Ryan's All Things Geek, or Ratchy Radio. I'm sitting here with uh, Mr. Terry Kaiser. Uh, weekends at Bernie's, uh, of course, Night Court, uh, of course, everything that's uh, been out there. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Yeah. So uh, what do you find uh, coming to a Comic-Con like this? Uh, what do you find you're uh, getting recognized for the most, at least? Recognized for putting these peanuts in my mouth and end up smiling, and there they are all over the place. You know what? I've got the same thing with my kid. <laughs> I think you guys would get along pretty well there. I think, obviously, Weekend of Bernie's, the two movies of Weekend of Bernie's, um, were such a cultural hit. Yeah. And uh, the Friday the 13th movie was, everybody recognized it for that. Of course. As you said, Night Court, uh, Three's, uh, Three's Company. Three's Company, right? Get popped for that. But it's funny because I started off on Broadway so it was an actor. No, so. see, I went to school for uh, theater arts performance myself, and I was always, always one of those people that I always got a bigger rush being on stage than I did ever being behind the camera. Mm-hmm. The same with you being, uh, being from Broadway background? This is where it comes from. In other words, all my training, I'm a member, lifetime member of the Actors Studio with Lee Strasberg. Oh, fantastic. And uh, so starting off on Broadway was where you started. Yeah. And uh, the Actors Studio is always known for, you know, Marlon Brando and, and serious stuff. Right. But the craft is the same. And so being able to do serious and comedy... You know, is the winner. Right. And you right. work twice as much as anybody else. That's You're looking for a, like a Neil Simon type. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. Now, um, what's uh, what's next uh, up for uh, Mr. Kaiser in the future here? Thank what you. are we working on now? Thank you for asking. No problem. Uh, I'm doing a series called uh, Johnny Dynamo, oh. uh, which is a lot of fun. I play uh, the head of the mafia, but he's he, but he's kind of a he's kind of a funny guy. You okay. know, it was serious, but uh, he's very vulnerable, that funniness. And uh, I guess you can see it now. It's going to be on Hulu, but right now the first ten episodes are on... Uh, on. Uh, I don't know. What is, what is, what is uh, the series on? Johnny Dynamo, you can get it on now. What is it on? Two. Two. YouTube. YouTube, oh. You can get it on YouTube now. Okay. So JohnnyDynamo.com, I guess. JohnnyDynamo.com. Right, and then I'm... Uh, Who's just, in that with you? Huh? Who else is in that with you? Uh, Tiny Lister. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, wonderful. And, and some other fine actors. Uh, and then I'm doing a movie right now. And, um, I got 80% done called The Body Sculptor. Uh, and uh, we have about 20% more to finish. I'm shooting in Nashville and uh, uh, someplace in Texas by the border. El Paso. Oh, nice. And uh, But it's... Uh, it's a character study of a, of a doctor who's a, who's a, uh, uh, a plastic surgeon, and he gets off track, okay, mentally, and so it's uh, quite pretty a dark role. Well, but it, yeah, yeah, but but it's more of a character study, and uh, I, I think it's going to be quite a good movie. So, so we'll see. So it uh, sounds more like it's one of those movies where uh, the character itself is you never know kind of which way he stands, where he's kind of like in the gray, that gray area yeah. where we all deal with in life, right? That's very well put, by the way. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, yes, that's it. And then I uh, just finished a pilot uh, called The Accidental President, uh, about the first female president. Oh, right. Uh, which is quite interesting. This kind of sounds like our first uh, female prime minister. She kind of got there on accident as well. well and I think it's very relevant now with Clint, uh, Hillary, Hillary right? running and stuff like that. And Julia Louise in the White House. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be something. So, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of thing. And I uh, also, uh, in Austin, Texas, uh, I run a, um, an acting studio there called... Uh, TheActorsArena.com. TheActorsArena.com. Yeah. And you can always pull that up and see what it is, our website. Well, we're going to put it right up here between us, right here. And 
on our little B-roll right there, and uh, good. we'll have good. it up there for you. Uh, and I'm very, very happy to be uh, created this, I think, two and a half years ago, and uh, it's sold out, and it's quite a success. It seems like the premier acting school in, in Austin, Texas, and it's nice to share your craft right. with younger people coming up, you know, that, that, that love it as much as you do. Oh, exactly. And now, are you finding... When it comes to students, are you noticing right away? Can you tell? Can you see someone and be like, "Yeah, they've got it." You can, you can feel it, right? You can feel it, and it doesn't change. Wow. I find it, it's one of those things that it, it just kind of permeates from a person. You can, yeah. you can feel that energy and yeah. that it's almost a kindred spirit. I, it's, it's hard to explain. No, I think you explain you explain it very well. Uh, yes, um, but you see people that don't that don't necessarily have to be actors. In other words, they, it's, it's, it's understanding oneself, being more aware right. of how you come across to other people. You know, and I think that's uh, uh, a key to a lot of people's success. You know, the president of IBM, whatever you do for a living, I think taking an acting class uh, is very beneficial yeah. for oneself, for one's awareness. And also, uh, I, I guess it would have a lot of benefic- uh, benefits for anyone like you said, a CEO or something like that, for helping them just being able to deal with the rest of their staff or delivering big uh, speeches, speeches, whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever at the big meetings, yeah. yeah. Now, um, last thing, you do voiceover work as well, or you I have? Do. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah. Now, how was that for you? What's, what's the difference there from being on stage or in front of a camera to being behind the microphone in a studio? It's, uh, it's a it's a little kooky. Yeah. You know. I hear voice actors are a little on the kooky side yeah, as well as some of the directors. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, but it's fun to create a character when you know it's just um, your voice and seeing seeing what it's supposed to be. Right. So that's kind of fun. It makes, it makes your head kind of go crazy, you know, find, trying to find that voice. You know, <laughs> right. Like that. I, I, I think it'd be a little difficult, though, not being in the same room with the... Uh, because you're, in your, you're usually in your separate sound booth. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, but, you, feel, you feel a little isolated, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, I hear it's a little bit harder uh, for to, to, to get the acting aspect of it because of uh, certain restrictions like that, but... I think it is, but, again, coming from Broadway... Right. Coming from the actor's studio with Lee Strasberg, your craft is always there, so you find how to how to how to utilize and find what, what you need for that particular genre. That's awesome. Yeah. Great answer. And it's so much fun and great to finally meet you. Thank you. Um, all the best in the future and uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Uh, Ryan Fleming here with uh, Mr. Terry Kaiser. Hope you guys all had fun and we'll see you on Rat G Radio. Thank you again, sir. Take care of Ryan for us, all right, audience? Black magic. You got to know, got to show.